Hey guys, what's up, Alan Odinson? Today is review day for the Tooth of the Arrow Broadheads. Now, I wasn't just gonna do any little ridiculous review where I'm just shooting them and say, oh, they fly great. No, 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 no. We're gonna torture test these bad boys and see just how good they really are. All right, so let's take a look at the broadhead itself here real quick. So, one of the things that makes this very different from a lot of other broadheads out there is this is all machined from one piece. This is one piece. These are not individual blades just attached, which are prone to breaking and everything, which we'll look at that a little bit later. But this is all machined from one piece of solid steel, and then it's heat treated for hardness. So that is a huge plus right there, and uh, we're going to take a look at just how strong these are. All right, we've moved outside, so now we're going to test three of these bad boys using, I dusted off my old Odinson Archie Bjorn bow here, and uh, we're gonna test these for accuracy here. So, uh, got my trusty uh, range finder here. Let's see how far we're shooting today. All right, here we go. All right, so for a 20 yard shot, 21, 22 yards, something like that, um, not too shabby out of these. These are just, if you notice, these are two Fletch arrows I'm shooting too. Um, so, and it's not, not very windy, so it's not a huge deal, but uh, I'd take that hunt with me any day. And they have driven into this target, so uh, I'm actually gonna have to put the phone down to pull them out. 